Day one, the first of two sessions as we kick off the International Darts Open. Would we have some magpie mayhem with Willie O'Connor, or would his clock strike doom in the form of Big Ben? Who do you like here? Anderson or Monk? Can you say agony for Aaron? How about ruthless James Richardson? Could he squash the mosquito for two thumbs up? And would it be the luck of the Irish or a Dutch delight? A rumble in Risa today on High Roller Radio. Yes, some Friday afternoon flights for us as the PDC moves its product from Barnsley and the Players' Championships to Risa for the European Tour. Hashtag ET12. After a day off yesterday, tweeted Luke Jones, the darting action continues from Germany for the penultimate Euro Tour event of the year. Gerwin Price is your defending champion. You just know he wants to defend it too. Talk about the rigors of the PDC. How about lost luggage? Unbelievable goings on with unicorn players and their bags going AWOL. En route to Risa, reported Matt Rankin. Couldn't make it up, he said. Hashtag cursed. Yelly Klassen is qualified for his first Euro Tour event this year, said commentator Dan Dawson. Two separate sets of darts have traveled here to join him, but neither have made it. I've said before, tweeted Captain Mike Yates, the PDC Europe should have a secure storage facility for players' darts so they don't have to worry about airlines losing them. That is a very good point. All right, here we go. First up, Harry Ward versus Reese Robinson. And after kicking off with a break of throw, Big H made it 2 nothing on double four. Very good start. But back came the Rolls Reese, who revved up his engines on three consecutive double 20s. This one for 2 2. Six leg, he landed this beauty, the Max, followed by another gem, the 86 checkout, two clean darts. 4-2 now. Get in, he screamed. We got a fist pump, but wow, what a turnaround here. Ward took the next two for four all, and he wouldn't stop. Look at this. The 78 checkout for 5-4, and yes, he managed four on the spin himself to close it out for the 6-4 victory. Big H with a very big victory, his first ever on the Euro Tour. I couldn't give up, he said. I just kept plotting on his match tomorrow, he added. Hopefully, I can give Menser a game. What time is it? Big Ben time. Benito Vandepass all smiles as he made his way into the Coliseum. Playing well of late, seems to have regained his form. Facing Willie O'Connor and leading the head-to-head 4-1, but all tied 2-2 to start this one. We had some magpie magnificence in the sixth leg as he leveled at three, the stellar 1-4-7 Brilliant darts. He made it look simple as we check out the averages. Both players in the low 90s. O'Connor followed that beauty with double four in the seventh leg for the match's first break. He celebrated to the turning point as he carried on for the 6-4 win. Irish eyes smiling on day one in Risa. My practice has been going well, he said. I'm bringing that to the stage, but... It was a bit nervy. Our third fixture pitted the red-hot Justin Pipe against the qualifier Christian Yenschka. Slow start from both, but the veteran was putting legs on the board. Nailed double 10 for 3-1 and 2 clear. As we look at the way Pipe's darts enter the board, ton 40. Credit to the young man, though. He clawed it back to all square with a break of throw in the sixth leg. Couldn't consolidate it, though, and that allowed Pipe the opening he needed. Wasn't at his best today, but he advances by taking three on the spin to beat the German debutante by a score of 6-3. I'd rather win with a 60 average, he said, than lose with a 100. They're the hardest games to win. The original Kyle Anderson on next, in for a tough tie against Aaron Monk, who came to play Found the lot here. Very nice. Monk secured a break of throw in the fifth leg, then followed with a hold on double 20. Had a 102 finish along the way as well, en route to a 4 2 lead. But that advantage was squashed quickly as the Aussie responded with three in a row. This double two made it 5-4. 
5-4, much to the delight of Diogo. His buddy Diogo Portela cheering him on from the cheap seats. Brazilian Monk would level to force a decider where both players fired in maximums. But look at this. Some air and agony. Ouch. Missed a match dart on the 103 checkout. A game of millimeters, folks. And that was it. 6-5 Anderson wins with the giant hug for his opponent. I think our game was high quality, he said. I'm playing well. I'm confident. Speaking of confidence, Big John Henderson unpacking his gear, ready and rocking for a tilt with Brett Clayton. The Highlander had a nine-darter in Barnsley, and he scored first blood in this one. A fifth-leg break of throw on tops. Credit Clayton, though. Return the favor immediately. He then pinned tops for 4-3. Hendo countered with the max en route to 4-all. Key moment came in the ninth leg. Clayton missed two darts on double 15 for the 90 finish, and it was Hendo Splendo with the break. Double 16 good. It was over the very next leg. Make the final 6-4. Big John will meet Rob Cross tomorrow. No easy matches on the PDC, he said. I feel for Brett, but I'm relieved. Vindaloo and two thumbs up from the ruthless one, James Richardson, playing a guy who goes by the moniker... The Mosquito. German qualifier Mike Poga kicked off nicely with an opening leg break, followed by a second leg hold. No nerves there. The steely-eyed Richardson, though, remained calm and cool and began to find his range. This double four tied things at two. It was a steamroll from there. Ruthless and wicked. He actually took five of the last six legs for the 6-3 result. And guess what, folks? That's when the stream cut out. We got two words from Danny Grotbags. Shock and horror. Oh, no. Now, in fairness, it wasn't out long. The stream came back just in time for Mickey Mansell versus Danny Noppert. It was Dutch dominance early. Noppy up a break at 4-3. This last start, double 19, made it 5-3. He liked that one, held the pose. This guy can play, though. The Clono Cyclone managed a 10th leg break for five apiece, then fired in three consecutive 140s in the last leg shootout, but wasted his chances at double, had three of them, and Noppy stole it. Followed a 180 with double eight for a 6-5 result. Wow! That set the stage for Michael Rosenauer facing Mike Decker in our final contest of the afternoon. All tied at three. He somehow snuck this last star double eight in there right in the corner. Are you kidding me? Millimeters, folks. That made it 4-3 and that propelled him on to the 6-4 victory. There you have it. Eight matches in the books. The afternoon session complete the results before you we've got eight more tilts tonight as we carry on it's the international darts open right on in risa today on high roller radio